may have had some this morning, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty good. <laughs> We're waiting to see who's gonna take on my man from Rancho de Taos, New Mexico. I've heard rumors that that car runs on Mezcal. Get out for a fine blue plane coming on the truck. Out the 1925 T full feathered roadster right there. Ron says about this car, it is fast. There you go. Got an 8 inch rear end, C4 drags for training. This is Ron's fifth year racing and racing gentlemen events. He'll be racing against the number seven car. We got a special one here for you, ladies and gentlemen. That number seven car, the pleasure to talk to this gentleman last evening. One of our original Oilers. He's proudly flying that Oilers car club banner out there. That is Quint Mullen out of Soquel, California. 1927 Ford Bacon. He is one of our original Oilers. Oilers car club is what they pull race and chase around. Come on, Clint, come on, Clint. And away he goes. And it looks like Ron Cooper's Mezcal powered Model T is going to take that one handily. We'll see more, Clint. As we go on today, Quint will be out here again. An original oiler. That's history right out there. Number 38 bike, Constellon versus the 58 bike. That 38 bike is Mike Red Dog, man out of Paso Robles, California. That's a Crocker Twin right there. 58 bike, that's Super Dave out of Napa, California. It's a Franken bike, Super Dave says. All oh, mix of stuff out there. Getting ready to run versus Red Dog out of Paso Robles, California. It's a California grudge match. This one's for a Prius. The winner of this gets a low emissions Prius. We're doing our part for the environment out here. Out of the way, there's no way. What are you doing this one handily? Or even down the ship? And Red Dog is the winner. Fun fact, a lot of these bikes, if you've noticed, are tack shifters. You gotta reach down to shift. Makes it a little harder there. Makes it a little more death-defying. A little more thrilling. Give it up for Quint, one of our original Oilers on the return. Proudly fly that Oilers flag. Number 686 car coming to the line. In the near lane. <laughs> 686 car. Out there, in the near lane. That is Jay Gatlin from Carmichael, California. 1929 Ford Model A. That motor has been built and likes to run, according to Jay. Coming to the line versus that 88 car. 88 car in the far lane. That 88 car in the far lane. Uh, Jared Thompson out of that California Ford Model A. 1939 Ford Trans Banjo Rear, 1944 Juice Brakes with a drop axle. Coming to the line for your enjoyment. We got them lined up. And away they go. Oh, let's see if that drop axle roadster can take it. He cannot. The near lane is the winner by a nose. That was a close one, folks. Number five bike comes to the line versus the 94 bike. Oh, that is indeed that number five bike in the rear lane. Jeremy Franks 
Så var jag och Grande kan man våga det The far lane with the win. Number 73 car coming to the line in the near lane. Number 73, that's Jeff Saliga from Tempe, Arizona, USA. That's a Ford Roadster, was featured in a Tom Fritz painting. That's a nice car right there, it goes quick. Started building that car in 1999, got it on the road in 2001. Started looking for parts for that car in 1996, finally got it all together. Coming up against that 133 car in the far lane. That's Jim Luke out of Roseville, California. 1929 Ford Roadster. 39 Trans Model A rear end. He says he's an old grumpy tattooed jerk. And the near lane with the win. Number 101 bike coming to the line in the near lane. Eric Vaughn, EV, out of Monrovia, California, going up against that number four bike in the far lane. Number four bike, Vince Perry, West Milford, New Jersey. All the way from the East Coast out here for your drag strip enjoyment here at the race of gentlemen, Santa Barbara Drag, presented by Harley Davidson. Oh, yes indeed, we've got them out the line. They're staring each other down. You can feel the hatred. You can hear the, feel the hot burning hatred burning into each other's souls as they stare each other down the line. He might have lost some ground. And the near lane gets the better of him in the end. You never want somebody getting the better of you in the end. First command of the four lane. Yeah, 
Jim McCarthy. They got a one-off Blonde Banger header in there, made by Jay Dean at Nostalgia Ranch. That car's been rebuilt. We're going to give it a little push. Get it going out here for your viewing enjoyment. Pop the clutch. Let's see what she's got. Thirteen car in the far lane. the 741 bike in the far lane. That 741 bike is Cotto Levinson. California, the Red Dog, howling at the moon right now. Who's going to come out the winner on this one? We got a new flagger. 